Hey everyone, so I'm ready to uh, un unscrew hot light bulbs. Pretty much, I got four light bulbs to test out. First off, we got this Sylvania Natural Daylight CFL right here. We got this great value globe shaped LED right here, Edison style. And we got the GE appliance light bulb, which it's an incandescent finally. The reason why it's an incandescent is because you can't put an LED in an oven without it smelling like coyote shit, of course. And we got a great value LED Edison. But where can I test them? My Harbor Breeze Eden Tensoon fan has all candelabra. Well, here's the answer. There's the blue LED and that's a medium base socket. Key with lamp. Okay, so I bet this one's gonna be pretty hot. That's why I'm wearing the the sock. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Now, I wanna feel how hot it is. Ow! Shit! <sighs> pretty damn hot. Of course. Very hot. They say LEDs don't get hot. But they're dead wrong. That one was hot. Now, let's get to the test. We got the Sylvania Natural Daylight right here. Which, for some reason, Ian likes those. I don't. Let's let it warm up for a little bit. Because CFLs are notorious for that. Okay, so it warmed up. Yeah. I don't like it, honestly. Moving on. Next, we got the Great Value Globe LED. Leaves a really warm, cozy tone. But of course, the CRT lines, nobody likes those. No wonder why we get eye strains and headaches from those. Next, we got the Great Value uh, 60 Watt from my Hunter Discovery Silk fan. Yeah, pretty much the same thing, except it's more vibrant. Once again, CRT lines. They always suck. Moving on. And now we have the appliance light bulb. Which absolutely no doubt it's gonna get as hot as hell. But you get to see the legit filaments right there. I really like this one. But unfortunately I can't keep it in here any longer because we're going to have to install an RGE oven. And we're going to return to the blue LED because I always keep this closet door barely open just for a mood light. <laughs> 